are here to witness a very special ceremony. I know that at the end of this ceremony, not just the students and the parents, but our society will be very happy because this ceremony introduces a measure of equality into the government of St. Lucia's One Laptop Per Child initiative. In October of 2013, the government of St. Lucia launched this One Laptop Per Child initiative, distributing over 3,000 laptop computers to every child of Form 4 in all secondary schools on the island. Today is a special day for our special students who are now at the Donata Secondary School. Prime Minister will have an opportunity to give you the feedback. He will let you know where this initiative came from and why he felt it was very important to include our special students at the Donata School in this program. But before we hear from our Prime Minister, we will invite Miss Caroline Achebel. She is your principal and she has a few remarks to present on this wonderful initiative. Let's put our hands together and welcome Ms. Atibor. I'm really happy to be here this afternoon and I think this is a wonderful initiative and I want to thank Dr. Anthony and Dr. Lewis for providing our secondary school <laughs> with, with these computers this afternoon. I think we'll have to change the name of the Vocational Training Center to the Secondary Vocational Training Center. <laughs> Um, I know there, there's a perception in, in the public, well, with some people in the public, that students at Donata School cannot read and write, and this is absolutely not true. Many of our students are literate, and just like every other student, they also want to have access to computers and to all the things that come with it. And actually, computers are a wonderful learning tool for our students because they present a multisensory approach to learning. The students can see, they can hear, and they can feel what they're doing. And this really, really helps them to, um, to accomplish all the tasks that they wish to accomplish on the computer. They um, are very good with the computers we have at the school right now, which are the, the regular ones. So now we have the task of teaching them to use the laptops. And I know that they will try very hard and they'll be very diligent in learning how to use the their, their new laptops. I want to encourage them to be very careful with them. When you're bringing them to and from school, you must look after them, treat them very well, and so that they will last you a long time. Okay, and also I want to encourage the parents to help them at home when they're using their computers. Uh, we will attempt to provide you with the software and the, uh, that they can use at home to help them to learn and we're very happy that this is happening this afternoon for them. So once again, thank you very much. Yes, I am excited because I think sometime last week, Tuesday, Dr. Anthony had a very special function at the Prime Minister's residence. And I think in, the, in that very celebratory mood, Dr. Anthony made a call to me because I know he, well, I figured I could tell that they were having fun. And he made a call to me and he asked, about the laptop computers that were distributed to for form students. And of course, Dr. Anthony will give the story that's behind that. But what I'm trying to say is, I think Dr. Anthony, in the spirit of giving, because of the children, the special party that's put on for children every year at the PM's office, in the very same spirit of giving, and Dr. Anthony's abiding love and appreciation for the power of education, he must have encountered some of the students sitting in front of us who would have challenged him on why they were not given the laptops. So I, I want to say that the government of St. Lucia will continue to show through the Ministry of Education that equality, we are all the same. We may be disabled with different issues that affect us, but when it comes to education, the government will not discriminate against anyone. And I just want to congratulate Dr. Anthony because I was not at the function, but I want to congratulate him for having listened, whoever spoke to, who, whoever spoke to him, for having listened and so the government could reach out 
to students who are of the fourth form level also in terms of age and the ability to use the machines. So I want to say that as Ms. Um, Emmanuel has already said, the laptop, one laptop for each form for really also is about giving a laptop to each family in this country because when one family, ha one, one family member has that laptop, as many persons who belong to that family, they themselves will make use of that machine. So parents, let me just also say that all the rules that apply to the students in Form 4 apply to the students at the Donata School. We know that they are responsible also, so parents, it's your responsibility to work with them to ensure that they uphold the criteria that has been set. And that is why Ms. Archibald, who is the principal, has total jurisdiction over all 10 laptops that will be given here this afternoon because the principal of the school, every school, has a right to recall that machine if at all a student misuses the machine. But I want on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development Labor, to congratulate your parents and the students who are here in making it the laptop available to you. We congratulate you and we say to you, make very good use of the machine and remember that any device you can use to further your education, you should use it to, at its maximum use. Thank you very much for being here and I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year also. Thank you. I'm very excited today, excited to see you once again and excited that today you'll be the recipients of the laptops. Now, as the Minister of Education hinted, there's a story behind this. When you visited me last year, I was fascinated when I saw many of you on mobile phones. And uh, I recall many of the students who visited last year, not this year, kept on asking for mobile phones. That was the passion of that Christmas. Can we get a mobile phone? We need a mobile phone. When am I going to get a mobile phone? I want a Blackberry. <laughs> and uh, it stuck in my mind. And uh, while, of course, I was not able to make mobile telephones available this Christmas, the conversation took a different twist. This had nothing to do with Mrs. Archibald or the teachers, I understand some of whom are here. I did not recognize you or the outset, please forgive me. This had nothing to do with the teachers. It had everything to do with the students. As I walked around and there's somebody shaking her head, she said to me, why haven't we got laptops? Why no laptops for us over at the Donata School. I want my laptop. I would like a laptop. But she was not the only one. There were others um, who approached me on the same issue. And it struck me that we were really being unfair. I was fascinated by the keyboard, the telephones. I would watch them. And they were amazing. There was so much dexterity and speed. I mean, I can't text the way they're texting. My fingers can't get on the keyboards, but there they're busy with their mobiles. A few had the mobiles. And I decided there and then, well, you know what? We need to correct this. We need to make sure that the students get an, op get an opportunity to have a laptop. We need to make them very special and, and very happy. And I want to thank the Minister of Education because he's right. I called him almost immediately and I said, well, do we have any laptops left over? Can you get me a couple? And he says, I'll get back to you in a while. He says, yes, I can make 10 available. I said, fantastic. And so the gift of the, the laptops um, today. I know that this is going to be a new and, and wonderful world for all the students who are here this afternoon. But no one has to convince me that they are very competent to, to take the journey that they're going to take right, right away today. And let this be a lesson to all St. Lucians. 
that our challenged children are as good as any other child anywhere else. And they can do just as well. All they need is to be treated like just every other child. And so I'm very happy today. Happy that in a way, although this is for your education, for your development, that nevertheless this is happening around Christmas time. So this is going to be a very special gift to you. And what a pleasure it is to see the parents who are here today. I want to thank you for coming to be part of this ceremony. It's many of you I know um, over time. Um, many of you, we have met you before, we have spoken before. Um, you haven't shared with me that you, you had children or relatives who were challenged, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that you're here today to witness this very historic occasion. I'm really very pleased to see all of you. I hope that today's gesture signals to our students as well that we care for them, we are um, concerned about them, that we want to treat them as equals with the rest of the student population, and I hope they make good use of those computers. Dr. Lewis, of course, has told the parents the right thing, that the laptops are intended for educational purposes and nothing else. I'm very happy as I travel around the country and spend moments in communities that I see groups of children sitting sometimes um, outside their homes or in their communities with their laptops, exploring their laptops and doing their homework. And I don't think we have grasped the enormity of this step that finally we are putting technology in the grasp of our children. And so I may well surprise you, the students, and come and look for you. Maybe come up to Donat and see what use you're making of the laptops that have been given to you. But I hope you enjoy them and you make good use of them. And if there is anybody who thought that seeing you at Christmas time was just a party, then they're wrong. It's an opportunity for me to talk to you. It's an opportunity to find out what you are doing. It's an opportunity to learn from you. And of course, it's also an opportunity to see you all over again. So, um, those meetings do have value because as a direct result of the engagement I had with you, the chat I had with you, the discussion I had with you, hence, we made these laptops available. But I just want to repeat what I said earlier on today. It was your initiative. It wasn't prompted by teachers. It wasn't prompted by your principal. That's the important thing. It was your initiative. You saw the need for it. You were courageous. You asked me to assist, and I responded. I am so proud of all of you. I do wish you all a wonderful Christmas. And once again, I thank the Ministry of Education and thank Dr. Lewis for understanding instantly. I must say, once I mentioned it to Dr. Lewis, he said, Prime Minister, I will see what I can do. And we are here today, and he has delivered. So, Minister, once again, thank you, everybody. Please have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much.